Okie doke. Welcome to Family Day Workout. There seems to be people in the gym today. Busy, busy. I'm going to get started quite soon. We're going to start with three exercises and then hopefully move on to another three exercises later on. Uh, enough space. Usually I like to use my height as a gauge. The idea of you can lay down across, what, across whatever space you're working in. It's perfect amount of space. That's all we need. And then uh, water and time to breathe. But uh, the, the idea is that I'm going to keep giving you breaks no matter when we, when we come on, when we go, we start getting to work. And then also that you are allowed to miss to make sure that you can actually catch yourself and get ready back ready and back into it. Okay, we'll start with off with a warm up. I hope everything's nice and working over there, considering new laptop and whatnot. And also, don't mind my extremely high shorts. I couldn't find <laughs> I couldn't find my uh, my tight my tighter shorter shorts. So now I have to use these, these shorts that make me look like a grandfather. The fact that I, I have to yank them up to make sure they're nice and taut. So I'm hoping camera, computer, work with me today. <laughs> Everything's newish. Computer's definitely new. Camera's not so much, but still trying to stick with Billy so far. Anyways, moving into some high knee marching. I'm going to turn to the side just to show you. Get your knees up and up. The idea for my warm ups get the joints moving and get the muscles warmed up enough. We also, we also want to get that heart rate just above what it's like resting, just so we can get our blood pumping everywhere. Nothing's cold coming into this workout. Avoid injury, as well as making sure that we get the best of the workouts. All right, we're going to move into some butt kicks. Three, two, one. Curl the heel right up to the bum. Try and keep your, your knee pointing down as you could. The idea here, same thing, warming up the joints, specifically over the knee, you can see. Feel free to take any of these into a higher paced exercise if you feel as though it's necessary to get your heart rate up and they don't, you don't feel the exercise just as much just yet. But it's okay considering it's just a warm up. All right. What we're gonna be moving into, we're gonna go into some jumping jacks in three, two, one. Stand firm, stand tall, up and over. Good work. Hope your family day's going well so far. And I hope the rest of the family day goes well. Considering today will be the first in a while that I've seen my grandparents in person, they're even to a compromise. So the idea of today we're spending family day a little closer to them and they're feeling comfortable and ready, but I'm a little excited today. Also a little nervous considering that working on a family day is odd to me. Body's not used to it. The body's still waking up just because it's a Monday. All right, we're going to move into some walkouts. Come to the edge of your space. So the idea here, warm up the hips mostly. Try and reach for your toes. If you can't reach all the way, bend the knees and then crawl the hands up. Walk it back in and stand back up. The idea is go as far as you can. If you can only go as far as touching the ground with, you, with your knees bent, that's okay. Follow along with, with the crowd if you can. And walk it back in as you can. It's okay to bend the knees a little bit throughout this exercise, considering this one's more, more so about accommodating and getting the upper body and the hips moving. So don't mind if you have to bend the knees a little bit to get the rest of the work in. Eventually, what you'll be looking like is you go straight legged, pump down, walk out. And walk back in straight like it. All right, last one. Good work. We are going to go into some shadow boxing. I thought I solved this issue. So 
So the idea here is I'm allowing left toes towards the wall. I'm always going to lead with my back arm and fall from my front arm for this warm up combo. So all it is is up on your toes, facing forward, jab, 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 jab. Good, jab, 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 jab. Get the full extension out of your arms. Reach all the way up. Good work, good work. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Good work, jab, jab. Let's get two more in. Jab, jab, and we turn the sides. Jab, jab, all right. Twist over. So line up, facing the other way, switching arms, the lead arms. The idea is that still, my back arm is leading. So it went from my left to my right now. It'll still be the same combo. It's going to be jab, jab. So up on your toes, up on your toes, jab, 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 jab. Good work, good work, jab, jab. Good work, jab, jab. Get the full extension out of your arms. Get those arms, get the chest, get everything warmed up. Jab, 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 jab. Good work, good work, jab, jab. Keep it up, jab, 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 almost. Let's give it two more, jab, 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 jab. All right, that's some more boat. Oh, excuse me. Shake off the legs, shake off the arms as you need. We're gonna do a three exercise combo. The idea is we're gonna go from uh, standing using legs to on the ground, starting with chest and then moving into core. Three exercises to make sure we cover our grounds. Because I know <laughs> if anyone has stuck around with these workouts before. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, God. Okay, good. Oh, my goodness. I thought I, thought I backed out of Zoom for a second. Oh, my gosh. I swear this thing is scaring me every every second that I look at it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so let's get going. <laughs> let's get going with the with the rest of it. Okay. More so just changing everything up, catching my breath, making sure everything is going on here. Everything's going right. All right. So let's get started with legs. What we're doing is we're doing a big step forward, followed up by a big step backwards. Hands can be wherever they like. Knees and how low you get is going to determine the difficulty of the exercise itself. So we're going to lead with my front leg. So it's going to be my right leg for, for my angle. I don't know what it's looking like in yours, but it's going to be big step forward, big step back, down, come in. And then we switch sides. So now you can see that it's my back leg, big step forward, down, big step back, down, and then complete going up the other leg. So don't mind my shorter steps just because I have a little less space here today. I really do want you to try and get the full range of motion. Getting down, you can see how nice and long now, more so just because I don't want to crash into the wall. All right, we'll get going in five, four, three, two. One, back, switch it up, forward, back, switch it up. Okay, just to keep going about modifications in case you need them along the way. The idea for each of these steps is you're going to the proper depth that is challenging to you, but you're not gonna fall over. So the idea for me is I can get as low to the ground as I like to, but some of you might not even get that, that far. So you might go just step out, get a little dip and step back and get a little dip. And that's perfectly fine. The idea is give yourself enough challenge and go to where you're just fitting comfortable with these exercises. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, down on the ground for the next exercise. We are gonna start with, with push-ups. So the idea is if you want, if you want to stay standing and you wanna use a wall, a ledge, chairs, 
stairs, a bench, anything like that to prop yourself up so you can get a little more activation without having to really do your full body weight yet, feel free to. But I'm gonna, so I'll quickly demonstrate what I'm looking for when it comes to those. Hands shoot right up from your shoulders. You're gonna lean into the wall. And I want these hands to finish below the chin if you can. If they start to come up to your forehead, I want you to walk, take a step in. So it's just gonna be come down, bring yourself closer and closer to the wall or the ledge or a bench and back out. All I'm looking for is a big bend in the elbows. Hold yourself nice and square and then back out. Same thing with on the ground. The idea here is I'm planting my hands right underneath my shoulders. I'm going from my knees, I'm planting them on the ground. I'm getting flat from head to knee. If I'm going from my toes, it's the same thing. I'm going from flat from head to toe, keeping my hands underneath my shoulders at all times. And I'm squeezing across my stomach. Not so much just, just squeezing across the abs, but across the entire stomach. It keeps, helps keep my body solid. That way, that I, anytime that I'm thinking of slumping down, and I'll show you what that looks like, the idea is as soon as your hips start to sag or your bum comes up too far, that takes away from the core stability of this exercise. Have you ever done plank? <laughs> Just think of push-ups as a moving plank because neither of them are easy. <laughs> All right, so hands underneath the shoulders. Let's keep going in five, four, three, two, one. Good start. All right, I try to say this every week in class. Try to not pay attention to the camera during these exercises. Try and more so feel it out. If you need to check the camera saying, oh, I think my form needs a little bit more change this way. I think my, my hips are getting too far down. I think my hips are getting too far up. Just adjust, try and find the feeling of the exercise and keep going. Also, don't mind my pace. If you would rather go faster or slower, that is perfectly fine. I like this pace simply because you guys can watch me nice and easy. You can see form and I get to feel the burn of the exercise as we go up and go down. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds left, come on. I'm chit chatty today trying to distract you. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, we're gonna stay on the ground and speaking of plank, ask what's next. So we're gonna stay on the ground, whether you want, wait, um, and if, you, if the wall comers can come down to the ground as well, that'd be great, because everything's going to be stiff for this one. So the idea here is whether you're going from your knees or your toes, I highly suggest that you try from your knees if you haven't done a plank before. If you're doing it from your toes because you have a little more experience with it and you want to give yourself a test, go for it. I'm going to be doing plank from my elbows. I know people like to do plank from their hands just because it, feel, it feels a little bit better on the shoulders. Perfectly fine. Again, the idea is it can look anything from doing this, doing this, doing this, doing this. There's a lot of positions for plank. Pick one that's most comfortable for you so you can last the whole time. All right. I'm gonna go from my elbows and toes. Nothing more than squeezing that same musculature that we did for the push-up. So squeeze across the abdomen, not straight across the abdomen. Because as soon as you start to see that, you start to see my rounding in my back and bum coming up. All right, going in three, two, one. All right, let's go. Good start, good start. Just flat board body. Keep it strong. Like I'm if you haven't tried other forms before, feel free to in the in the following rounds. Because the idea is that sometimes these exercises might work a little better for you in better in different formats. So the idea is that if you're you want to stick your hands under your shoulders, or if you want to go nice and tall, or if you want to go from your knees, try it, test it, see how it works. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Make sure we have total coverage on the body today. Consider we got legs, we got upper upper body. Now we have core involved. We're gonna try and stick with that pattern as we keep going. So next round. So we're gonna take our break first and foremost, but I am gonna start the next round probably without you in about 20 seconds. 
the idea is come in whenever you're ready. Um, if you want to come in with me before, before I go through all my explanations and demonstrations, just hop on in. The idea is challenge yourself to whatever you feel ready for. All right, don't mind me, just adjust my computer considering seems seemingly does not like me today. We got to fight it a little bit and I can't exactly in post <laughs> edit these, Tyler actually does. I just more so do them live and then we see how it goes. If the computer shuts off, boy, oh, do I get freaked out. <laughs> all right, all right, so same three exercises. All right, I'm gonna get started in about 10 seconds, just going over a quick demonstration. I'm gonna I'll line them towards the other side this way. I don't know if it's gonna help you, but just pay attention. The idea is it's going to be big step forward, as deep as you can, down, big step back, as deep as you can, down, switch legs. So it'll be forward, down, back, down, switch legs. Okay, going in three, two, one, here we go. Switch it up, forward, back. Switch it up, forward, back, switch it up, forward, back, switch it up, forward, back, let's go, let's go, good work. Almost there, come on, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna finish this one. Done. Nice. All right. Push-ups next. What are you doing it from? A wall, a ledge, the ground, anywhere in between. The idea, hands underneath the shoulders. Try and keep that pressure right in front of the chest, underneath the chin if you can. And start to crawl, 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 crawl up, reset them back down, take a step in, or readjust on the ground. All right. Let's get set up here. I'm going to come from my knees and arms on the ground. Pick your poison. <laughs> I know push ups can be an evil for some people, but I promise you it's a necessary evil. A lot, of the, a lot of people don't know how to do a proper push-up. A lot of people also don't know how to pick themselves off the ground. So I like to keep you away from those safety alarms where, oh, I've fallen in the tub and I can't get up. I want to save you from that. The idea is if you're already at that point, we're getting you stronger, so you don't need that no more. <laughs> Pardon my language. All right, going in three, two, one, let's go. Good start. Keep it up, keep it up. Flat all the way from head to knee or head to toe. Try and keep that squeeze across the ab. The idea is that you'll feel some tension all the way around the stomach. It's not so much as if you're holding your breath. It's not so much as you're sucking your gut in, but it's a tension as if someone was tightening a belt around you. The idea is it's going to feel everything from the front and all, and all the way back into the ribs, the bottom of the ribs and the back. All right, good work, good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Reset, check off those arms for plank. Again, if modification the last, last round didn't work for you, feel free to try different ones, whether you're going from your hands, going from your knees, any modification in between that you want to experiment with to make sure you stay in the game, but you get, you're not challenging so much, well, I'm going to collapse, holy geez. We're going to try and keep it just before that. That way we can keep things going, get pumped, and we get our work in. Get that nice tight core going on. All right. I'm propping myself for my elbows and toes. Pick your poison. Let's go in three, two, one. 
All right. Nothing too exciting to start on this one, considering you get to stay still. All right. You also don't get to know what time I'm going on. If you paid attention to past videos, you might know how long I usually go for. But if you're new, or if you are, if you skipped a week or so, and you don't know, oh, I don't know how long it goes for. Oh no, don't worry. We're going as long as we can. It's usually around thirty seconds. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Ten seconds left. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right. Final round coming up. Get water, catch your breath, shake limbs off if you need to. Also, if my hat disguises my face a little, a little much today, just because my hair was like this today. So, so I'm trying to keep everything a little more tame, especially when my when frizzy hair gets when you want to get sweaty. You know, for, for me at least, it feels like I have a mop on my head. It feels extra, it feels heavy. Not to mention my hair is usually curly. So it likes to hook right into my eye. <laughs> Just a big, nice needle of hair swooping down underneath my eyebrow and get me right, right in the iris. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna get ready and more so, or I, sorry, I'm gonna get ready and more so go into demonstrations. Don't worry about getting started just yet. Last demonstration more so to go through quickly, modify as you need. The idea is long steps. Difficulty comes from how big the step is, as well as how far you go down. So I want you to control for that. Make sure that we're doing both the forwards and the backwards before we switch legs. And the left be wherever they want. All right, let's get going in three, two, one. I like to get my arms pumping in these exercises just because it helps me keep my balance on top of, gets me in that power stance. <laughs> gets me ready and built up for all these exercises. And I can also use the momentum to pick myself back up off the ground. Whoops, it is. Can't keep looking at you. <laughs> good work, good work. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's go, let's go. Last round of these three exercises. Give it your best, give it your all. Almost, almost, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Just gonna go for and finish. Good. All right. I'm going to demonstrate push ups from the front this time. That way you can see where my shoulders are, my elbows are, and where I place my hands. Feel free to keep going off of what you're doing. And if you don't look at the screen, good on you. <laughs> Go for the feeling if you can. All right. Never take that. that that is a sort of discretion on looking at the camera because I, I completely understand that you want to check on form. Can be, I can be a little bit of, bit of a perfectionist. So getting something down pat is very necessary for me a lot of the time, or at least necessary for my brain to keep everything under control. All right, let's get going in about five seconds. So you can see where my hands are right underneath my shoulders. I'm going to kick both my legs back, be nice and flat. If I'm going for my knees. Same thing. The idea is I'm still here. Hands are right underneath my shoulders. Let's go in two, one. Let's go. Down. Good work. Good work. Come up nice and flat if you can. Control the bum. Control the stomach. Squeeze across. The abdomen and the core. Keep your torso sturdy. Good work, good work. Keep it up, keep it up. Again, don't mind my pace. Go whatever pace you need to. 
this pace is more so just for form and to keep you guys updated. So the idea, again, keeping those hands underneath the shoulders, keep it moving, keep it nice and flat. We're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right. I'm not going to be doing the plank from my front because you'll just see the top of my head essentially. But same idea. Plant yourself flat as a board from head to tail or head to toe. And just keep yourself going. We can, we can do this. Finish the round strong. Plant those arms. Let's get going in five, four, three, two, one. Great job, great work. You know what, one day you'll know in time, in, in time for the day with these movies, this workout, we'll post a clock right behind me. That way you can see either how much time has passed my time with these recorded, or you can say, oh, he's not counting right. <laughs> that was only like 25 seconds. Oh, that was too much, that was 45 seconds. <laughs> All right, good work, good work, come on. All right, 10 seconds left. Come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. So far, first portion done. <laughs> Final round of three exercises. All right, with the amount of time we have left, considering probably going to go through for three more exercises. The way it's going to work is going to be going as hard as you can for these exercises and just control as best you can if we do any body weight being moved around. Because a lot of the time people aren't used to their head moving as well as their stomach moving. So actually I had a, I had a friend that had recently experienced that actually. Because uh, a friend of mine got diagnosed with some sort of illness, not going to get into that. Um, and his first workout, and I'll say three years, he, he nearly puked because he went way too hard. So personal story of the day. Don't, don't worry. If you have to take a break or if any of these exercises are too much for you, take a break, take the stop, as well as get water and catch your breath. Control your body. <laughs> oh, okay, I hope that wasn't too personal, too gross for a lot of you. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I always, I always get a good feeling when people start start out and working out, even if they don't get the best first impression. All right. Same format as the, as the last few rounds. The idea is that we're going to do three exercises, but we're only going back to back to back. I'm going to give you a demonstration, and then these last three exercises will be it for today's workout. So the idea here for this first one, we are going to get nice and wide with our feet here. What I'm going to get you to try and do as we squat is try and push these knees out as far as you can. So what we're looking for is your sit, arms can be where they want, sit down, push those knees out, load up, back up. Same thing from the side. So the idea here is as if you're sitting down, still wide stance, you just can't see it. Push the bum back as if we're sitting down, get nice and low, power back up. We are going to hold the bottom for three seconds at a time before we come back up. We're going, we're using the regular time, but we get all these big pauses in here. So go as low as you can. Depth is the key to difficulty on these ones. So it's going to be. Low down, as soon as you get to the bottom, brace, three, two, one, back up. All right, we're gonna get, start, get started with that one. Let's get going in five, four, legs wide, three, two, one. Let's load up, one, two, three, back up. Let's get down, one, two, three, back up. Good, take it at your own pace. Feel free to do your own countdown as well. 
The idea here is more so getting as many as you can in within the allotted time. You don't know what the time is, so feel free to try and pace yourself. That was definitely not three seconds. <laughs> One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Good work, good work. Keep it up, keep it up. Almost, come on, come on. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get one more. Uh, done. Good work. All right. Next one is going to be mountain climbers. The idea here is I'm going to show you the long photo of this one. That way you can see how high my knee is driving. So the idea here is if you're going to go from a, a the wall, sorry, just like a push up, you can go from the wall, a ledge, or the floor. Each variation gets harder as, as you go along down that chart. The idea for these ones, we're going straight armed, just like a push up right into your shoulders to start. You're going to go long body and you're going to drive one knee up towards the front. Don't drive it into your elbow. <laughs> I don't know how many people have strong enough elbows just to take knees all day. So just drive up, drive back, drive up, drive back. It's going, that leg that drives is going to be floating the entire time. The idea in real time, what it's going to look like, it's going to go pump, 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 pump. Same thing if you're doing it from a wall. The idea, arms out in front of you, just going to be driving that knee up. Try and curl in with the abs a little bit. All right, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Drive. As if you're marching on an angle here. You're hiking up Everest right now. That's why I call mountain climbers because it'll, it'll feel it'll feel the same. The idea is you always have to pick up your feet, get your knees moving. Good work, good work. Keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds left, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good job. Let's get into that last exercise. All right, what we're lining up for, we're hopping onto our backs. We are going to do some leg drops. So the idea here is the length of my legs is going to determine how difficult this is. So if my knees are nice and bent from this position, I'm just going to go up and down. If my knees are a little straighter up, I'm going to be going up, coming down. Same thing if my legs were perfectly straight. Line up, kick them up, bring them down. The idea is that that bringing down portion is what I want you to focus on. Do it with control. So the idea, closer to the bum they are, the easiest it becomes, lift the legs up, squeeze across the abs, squeeze across the hips, drop them back down. Same thing if you go out a little further, pick the legs up, Drop them back down and kick them all the way up, pick them up, drop them all the way back down. So those are your three difficulties. Pick as we pick as we go. The idea here is I'm going to be doing the midway here just to keep my feet on camera. <laughs> but the idea is just to keep going, pick those legs up, put them right back down, take breaks, and try and keep breathing through this exercise. Because I understand that those knees curling up, those hips curling up, might start to squeeze over the belly a little bit. All right, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Good work, good work, good start. Awesome job, awesome. Finish today strong. 
feel free to go up to uh, up and challenge if you need to. One thing I know that's funny, especially considering that I'm in the gym right now, is that <laughs> if you have a sweaty back or if you have a, con a very concave back like I do, make little toots against the mat. So if you're on hard, but you probably do the same. If you're on rugs, maybe not, but <laughs> still fun enough. All right. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Done. Good work, Kevin. Good job today. All right. Crawling up to the camera here. Good work today. Whoever tunes in, have a great workout. <laughs> have a great day. If you're tuning in on family day as well, have a great family day. I'll see you all next week.